Doodles and initials are the basis for this bulletin board. And this is going to be really fun to decorate your room. This is awesome. And this foam um, cork board is perfect for nailing up your sketches and your pictures. All kinds of mementos. And if you take a look behind us, we also made one to decorate our hands-on room. It's awesome. So you'll start out with, the fo the, with your foam board that's covered in cork. You'll also use colorful paper and some glitter glue pens. You need ribbon and some paper-to-paper -paper glue and also craft glue. Scissors, a paper cutter, ruler, and we're ready, to, we're ready roll. to roll. So starting with your board, what you'll want to do is ask an adult to help you cut this in half using a craft knife. And we already cut this one and covered the edge in ribbon. So one of our favorite things to do on this yeah, show. Exactly. So you just cover it with craft glue, run it all the way around, and I put a pin in the end so that that will hold it while it's drying. Then you're going to use a ruler to mark an inch and a half all the way around. So you're just creating a place to put your ribbon on the front of the board. So mark here at an inch and a half with your pencil. And then lay it down so that you can run a line with your ruler. And you're going to cover this up with the ribbon. So you'll do that. Then take your ribbon and cut a diagonal line in the end of your ribbon so that you can miter the corners. And that, use your sharp scissors for that, and then use tacky glue to follow that line. And you'll just run a line of glue all the way along your pencil line. I really like how thick this corkboard foam is. Yeah, that way you I'm don't poke it. into the wall when, you, yeah, when awesome. you're using it for your bulletin board. So and then press this into the glue. I detect you've done that before, Katie Hacker. Well, you know, I just love to embellish things. I have <laughs> about five or six cork boards in my studio with all my sketches and it's things. A really, that, it's it, a really good way to keep things in front of your eyes, too. Yeah. I'm going to wait to cut this one straight because it's going to be hidden behind our letters. So I'll set this out of the way so that we can talk about letters. And what you'll need to do is, Candy, do you want to explain about the pattern? Sure. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. We have the pattern on our website. You'll need one four inch um, square and one three inch square. And then you'll want to cut these or print them onto cardstock. And you can trace one of each onto colorful paper. Actually, your smaller square is going to be traced onto white paper. Or you can use a paper trimmer to get perfect four inch squares. You want to show us? Sure. So I set this up for four inch square and you'll just press down with this. There we go. And so you'll do one of these in color for the four inch and for the three inch because um, for each letter in your name. Right. And so when you're finished. So you have three pieces of paper. So far you would have this and then you can cut for each letter you would want a colored piece. So for each letter you All have that. All three pieces. That's right. right. So let's cut a letter C for candy. Okay. okay. <laughs> Basically, you just use your very sharp scissors to make cuts that are about the same distance from the edge. And you could use a pencil to draw like we've been talking about. Use a light pencil line to draw your letter on first, or you can just freehand it like Katie is. Yeah, and this is an easy way to make block letters. When you start out with a square like that, it's, you're going to get pretty close, yeah. right? Yeah. So then you can use your paper to paper glue to glue this on to the white block. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then, see our letters, layer letters starting to come together. Then Candy's going to show us some doodling techniques. I am ready when you are, Katie Hacker. Okay, should we, let's glue this one down. Yeah, definitely. So there we go. And you would want to take some time and get the uh, glue all the way out to the edges so it doesn't fold up. There we go. You ready? And if you, if you need to let this dry, you could put it under a book or something that would also hold it together while it's drying. Right. So now we're going to embellish each of these pieces on the white areas with some glitter glue. And I've gone ahead and I'm starting it on a paper towel first so everything is pushed down to the end. And what should we make? Some dots? Dots are always good. I love them. And the cool thing about this glue is it's two-toned, so you get a mixture of colors. And if you look at our finished letters, you can really see all of these have a twist to them with silver. And when it dries, it shows up really good. So I'm just going to hold this one in place while Katie glues. 
So for this one, I'm going to make some stripes. And this is probably going to take overnight to dry. Oh, look at this one. You can really see the pink coming out with the silver. Did that you see that, great. Katie? I'm in love with this stuff. Looks good, Candy. I like the stripes. Thank you. There and are so many can, different ways you can do doodles. I was going to say, you could even mix, mix and match your doodle sure, or not? your glitter colors. Ready for another one? Whoa. Ready. Got it. <laughs> Fine glitter. This one, I'm going to make loop de doos. That's what I call them. I'm sure that's. I think that's the official word. I think it is too. We'll stop and then we can make super big ones. And I noticed that when this stuff dries, it really levels out and gets, it's incredible how flat it gets to the paper. Yeah, and I think it compresses so that it makes it even sparklier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use some of these in my art journal someday. I think you should. It's a good idea. So let's show them to you how to glue the letters to the board. Okay. So I'll bring this one back over. And we'll use... This one is These aren't quite yet. dry. So... You have some dry over there? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So we'll use our multi-purpose glue here. I'll hold it. Oh, here, let's move this. There we go. And then what you're going to do is run your glue over the back, mm -hmm. bottom portion of the letter. Yeah, and you can kind of stay on the top edge of your board. Yeah, so, so this that is you kind leave, of extending over the top. So that you leave lots of room for all of your pinned creations. Yeah, and let's see how this is going to look so that we can make sure we have enough space here. Good idea. Oops, I better scoot this guy over. Oh, there we go. There we go. And that's we'll, the benefit of glue that dries a little bit with a little bit of time. That's right. Oh, you know, we didn't talk about the hanger, so let's just quickly mention that that's what this soda can pop top is for, and we'll just attach this to the back with some tacky glue. Great, and it's recycling. You're ready to go.